okay what is going on so another beta day beta day and i'm so happy to share with you all what this thing is about um you know obviously very uh doomy gloomy weather but not bad overall so now i'm gonna go get some breakfast post my gym time i just took over there because i wanted to avoid an obstacle the car didn't look like it was gonna do anything so i had to preempt that one but uh yeah, we're looking good so far. Yeah, so overall opinions for 10.6.1, it's good. It is better <laughs> than before. Um, is it perfect? No. I think you already saw my video in traffic. That was pretty revealing for me at least. Um, but most of the challenges I saw, like my assessment is that the vehicle will overcome over time, right? So just to do a quick summary, right? Imagine if you're on the road, you know you need to be on the left lane, but beta is still on the right. You can see other cars, right? That could inhibit your ability to make a left turn. Um, and you're applying, you know, your, your logic of experience to know that, hey, I need to get on this left lane before the turn, but the car's not able to do that. So it just keeps going straight, trying to make that left turn and then stops at the end, right? Instead of finding a way to get on the left lane before the divider, right, or before the main main intersection, right? So those are some small little problems, but overall, like, this is an enhancing experience, right? Like, I mentioned this in some of my other previous videos, right? 360 degree vision capable of reacting while supplementing your drive, and you can't beat that. Um, you cannot beat that, and that that's truly my assessment of the experience is, is an enhancer, right, to the driving experience, almost like uh, making a cyborg. <laughs> I was excited for 10.7 to, to show up this weekend, but it didn't. So I think that uh, being that 10.7 did not show up, we will wait till Tuesday in accordance with uh, Elon on Twitter. So to me, that's not a big deal. When 10.8 comes, I will post a video probably in January though because I'm going to be traveling um, but yeah I'm, I'm happy to see other people's videos I imagine they'll be super duper cool and excited and that's one interesting thing about doing this beta test is watching other people's videos and kind of comparing them to yours um, it's evident that certain regions are optimized for better performance due to where the majority of Teslas are located, right? So that's uh, that's interesting to see. Like you see people driving in like um, in California in certain high hotspot areas like San Francisco and doing pretty well. But then like in the East Coast, not as much, but hopefully when Giga, Giga Texas comes online, we'll see better um, performance because more people will have Teslas and the hope is more of them will, you know, either subscribe or buy the full self-driving package. Yeah. I guess other interesting news, uh, Elon Musk mentioned a holiday update and usually those are pretty interesting. I'll never forget the most significant update to date for me prior to beta was navigate on autopilot because that, that changed the discussion at least for me, because at that time I was a, I was doing some te beta tests and stuff too with them, and um, yeah, navigating on autopilot was pretty revolutionary. Felt like, especially when it would like exit the main, you know, from a highway. It's not perfect again, but it's still pretty pretty good, nonetheless. Yeah, I tell you what, stopping at lights is so much better than I thought. You know, there was a time with the Teslas where you had to it stopped at every light and you had to like click for it to go. Now, the vehicle like essentially and effectively identifies lights in proportion to turns, right? There are some areas that are very 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 questionable as far as lights, right? Because of the light design, but overall like I I think at the 90 you know, the sub 90% level, this cars perform exceptionally when it comes to lights. Again, much better than I thought they would, so. 
that surprising. You know, another interesting thing, right? When when the world spoke about vehicles that drive themselves, right? There was this effort to make sure cars can talk to each other, right? By you know reserving spectrum for that. I think it was like 802.11p or something weird like that. There was a standard created for that. And now what Tesla has proven is that vehicles don't need to talk to each other. <laughs> and I think that's interesting because that's probably going to save if they are able to get this to work. I mean, even at this current state, they will save significant amount of R&D and, uh, and, and other costs to have autonomous vehicles, right? Because of how they're doing it, right? They're deploying models and updated models and, and, and storing them in, in vehicles and running them on an ASIC that is not a server stack in the back. It's a application-specific integrated circuit. So a, you know, a, you know, a tailor-made chip for machine learning. And somehow I'm able to get, let's say, up to 400 miles, <laughs> assuming I, I drive really slowly or whatever. But that that is exciting. That is an exciting future for us all. Because now we'll have less, you know, robotic looking cars and more, you know, sexy looking vehicles. So I'm excited for that. You saw what just happened with the turns. Like I'm not like this is the future we should all be like super excited for. I am not having to do much but just sit here and not be bored. Right? So meaning once they fix this, as they fix this, this software, I might be here playing a video game while the vehicle's driving and making my one hour long trip feel like 10 minutes because I'm, I'm relaxed. You can't beat that. Ah, that's exciting. That is exciting. All right, so like, I know this is, this might be a friction spot. So I'll have my hand on the steering wheel. Um, and I'm just supervising. Uh, yeah, it almost, it's, it's so, wow, this is exciting to see what the potential of our future is um, after this experience. Okay, here's a weird one. So I have a truck coming behind me and you know, the car is kind of like lollygagging, going like 39 miles per hour instead of doing what everyone else would do, which is, accelerate to a rate of speed but you know i had to get in there and kind of do some supervision i'm going to accelerate a little bit more now because this thing says the speed limit is 55 you know the speed limit sign says it's 55 but everyone else is going into 60 so i have to act i wonder if tesla is going to enable a you know some type of a capability that addresses what i just characterized as far as rate of speed. I hope so. Okay, so I'm gonna never get an autopilot right now. Um, what I've learned driving in the East Coast is stay away from trucks. Because <laughs> I've already, in my, old, in my previous vehicle, I had to replace the windshield twice. Um, in this vehicle, I haven't had that yet, you know, thank goodness. So I had to manually change lanes but the vehicle is set to do speed-based lane changes, so yeah, because this is autopilot, I'm going to probably fork through this. Okay, so just got off the major highway. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see this, like what I call lane management, because <laughs> that sometimes is a little bit of a, a problem uh, thing to observe. So let's see what happens here. So it's saying, hey, I want to make a right turn. This guy's slowing down. I like this new Mazda 3 with turbo. Looks nice. Very nice shape. Okay. That's pretty good. I like it. Now it wants to get to the right lane again. Or further to the right, excuse me. Hmm.
So why did it stop? Don't really know. But it kind of kept going. I, I was about to accelerate, but it went on its own. I need to make this right turn, so let's see what happens. Yep, this greenery is creating some confusion. But we're good. Okay, now let's see if this right turn can be made. Okay. Alright, so it's just checking for visibility. I don't see anyone. The car doesn't see anyone, and it goes, man, I'm about to start. I'm about to shed a tear. Incredible. Ha! USA. USA. That was an awesome right turn. Wow. I am just so impressed. I'm just so impressed at this. Like Elon had said, right, getting comfortable with this is, is the problem partially. But yeah, that's, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And yeah, just to know that this is our future with this level of autonomy, I'm impressed. Hopefully you, you like the drive. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you, you want to see more content. I'm going to try my best to be consistent and uh, have a good day. Okay, auto park. Let's see. Let's see if this thing actually works. So this is. I always get scared when the vehicle parks itself, like I just did. Oh, don't curb the rims. Don't curb the rims. Do not curb the rims. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Impressed. That was pretty good. Okay. Take care. Bye.